Yo, what is up amazing people? It is today, October 15th, and Bungie released a brand new update. And this update is, has tons of information, so I decided to talk about it. And let's just go down the list of a series of events that will be happening to us that will affect practically all players who play Destiny. Alright. One. And probably the biggest, in my opinion, right now. Trials of Osiris is delayed until further notice. This is because there's a, well, there's a glitch going on, basically. And it's uh, very bad, and, that, and it's Bungie knows about it, so that's good. They know about it, so they decided just to take it, take the Trials of Osiris off. That way no one gets cheated from getting their 9-0, because that'd just be horrible. So at least they're listening to us, and I guess it is for the better. Just do, and if you are wondering about that glitch, just don't even think about it. You can get banned for it. I'm pretty sure you can get banned for it, so just don't do it. Alright. Two. This is a bit more fun and more exciting. Well, the King's Fall Raid Hard Mode is being released earlier than anticipated for this. It is now becoming on October 23rd, which is Friday, and it'll be um, released at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and then 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, now since it's Hard Mode, well, the recommended light level now is 300 to 320. Well, I hope you're up there already, because it seems like it's going to be a challenging event. At least it seems like it, if the numbers are that high. Especially that 320 part. Which means, the loot that will be dropped will be between 310 and 320. So, that's awesome, except for there's more grinding to do. But, oh well. We want the best gear, because we're the best. And we deserve the best. Actually, I actually want to say one thing, it's going to be pretty cool to see who gets world first for the hard mode. So, I'm pretty interested in seeing who's going to get this time. Just a little fun thing to add. Alright, now they're going back to the actual data. Of. Uh, okay, actually, news, I should say. Well, Bungie knows that Sunbreakers are pretty strong right now. Well, they're trying to think of something to do, but right now, they're just keeping an, an eye open. Or in this case, they're just going to wait until they get a bigger picture of what they could do. So, at least they know Sunbreakers are too OP. Okay. That's a fact. <laughs> Okay, they're trying to do something with lag to make just all Crucible better. That's a good sign. No one likes laggers that are have God mode, which is not their fault, but it is their fault. You know what I mean. But that ends that little shenanigans about lag. Well, if you've been playing Iron Banner and you've been running at the end of the game, where's the loot? Where's those legendaries at? Well, just want to let you know, once you reach rank 2, those options of... Rewards will be added to your loot pool once you reach rank 2 in the Iron Banner. Just want to let you know that, okay? Rank 2 in the Iron Banner. Loot. Now, let's shift over from the Iron Banner to Nightfall. They are trying to deliver more frequent and more powerful legendary rewards to the Nightfall tables. Hopefully we see more exotics drop because that's what we all care about. Right? Am I right? Alright, and hopefully 310 too, but we're at it because, you know... We gotta make it. We gotta get ready for that hard mode. So that's the main part. There's some other stuff too. I'll link the update in or the news update in the description if you want to check out some other side stuff. And plus, that's that probably wraps it up on my end. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more future updates about Destiny. And hopefully, there's more cool things to come about. And yeah, have a good evening and a good day, and have a beautiful time. Sure. <laughs> Bye.